What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross, I like games, and today we need to take a little bit of a look at the most expensive cards from BT10. Because BT10 is very much out now, it's a thing. So, seems a little bit rude if we don't go and take a look at the most expensive cards. What I will say is there are a couple of things, a couple of notes before we get going. Firstly, these are buy prices. The reason I use buy prices is because it's easy to find comparative ones from the same place, which is very important. And also, we need to bear in mind that the Japanese market and the English market are not the same. So, it's not really fair to compare them. So... Use this as a comparative, i.e. the most expensive cards here are likely to be the most expensive cards when it comes out in English. But don't try and take this as some kind of guarantee of value because that's going to it's going to trip you up pretty quickly. All right. It's going to go wrong sooner rather than later. So with all of that born in mind, don't include Alphamon. And it's not because I'm a horrible person. It's because Alphamon, we have absolutely no idea whatsoever. We know there is a ghost rare gold Alphamon. We know it seems to be at least about equivalent in terms of rarity to the ghost Omnimon. We know that it's crazy super rare and it's going to be crazy valuable. Set's been out like a week. There is absolutely no way we've got a good value of this. Yes, this is going to be number one by an absolute ridiculous crazy margin but it's not fair to really try and and put a direct value on this like ghost omnimon right now is about I, I don't know honestly it's all over the place value wise but over a grand let's just say it's over a grand so yeah so if we ignore that one, and I do think it's fair to ignore that one, the number one card in the set is actually the alternate art of System on Seal. Now this comes in at 5,000 yen, so you're talking around about $37 or around about £30. And this, I mean look, System on is very, very popular, but you've got to bear in mind System on Seal is a really, really interesting card, because System on Seal hasn't existed in Japan before this set. Japan's had System on Noir, and we've been replacing it with System on Seal. Not the case here, ladies and gentlemen. Now Japan's actually got System on Seal for realsies, and this is kind of pretty important. As a card, it's fine. When you play, you can Digimon one of your Digimon into a Digimon with Royal Knight in its traits from your hand by paying its Digivolution cost. Even if a turn should be to your opponent, you can still Digivolve. And on your turn, once per turn, when your Digimon Digivolves into a Digimon with Huckmon in its name or Royal Knight in its traits, you gain a memory. It's fine. It's not exactly a stunning card. One thing I do find very interesting, the regular art of this is a 50 yen card. So it's literally 1% of the alternate art. So make no mistake about it. This is a card which is valuable for the alternate art and the alternate art alone. Now, in view of the card which looks to be really good, the alternate art of Jesmon GX. This is coming in at a 4,000 yen card, which means we're looking somewhere in the region of about $30 or about £24, which is pretty gosh darn relevant. And if we look at the regular version of the card, that is coming in at... 2,000 yen, which is, you know, half of what we just looked at. So it's still a pretty relevant price. You know, you're talking about 15 US dollars or about 12 pounds sterling. But my point is here, this is a card which is also very playable. Now it is bearing in mind a secret rare, so that is going to push the value up. And obviously the alternate art is an alternate art of a secret rare, which outside of Alphamon is as expensive as you can get. But this is also a very, very good card. When Digivolving, you can place a Digimon with Royal Knight in its traits and a play cost of 13 or less from your hand or trash under it and activate one of that Digimon's when Digivolving effects. Then you get Blitz, so you can attack even if the turn should have passed to your opponent. And on all turns, when you've got a card with Royal Knight in its traits in your Digivolution cards, you get Piercing and Blocker and Security Attack plus one for each of those cards. It gets good quickly. And we'll get there in a minute. But it's significantly more expensive than the other 
secret rare and alternate art thereof. But it's not more expensive than the alternate art of Sukuyamon, which also comes in at 4,000 yen, which means we're also looking somewhere in the region of $30 and somewhere in the region of £24. And Sukuyamon is a very good card. I think Sukuyamon's going to be really good because it's got more of those plugins. When Digivolving, you can use a plugin or a yellow option card with a memory cost of five or less from your hand, ignoring color restrictions and for free. And then you place it on top of your security stack, so it's also recovery. And then when attacking, you can Digivolve into a Sakuyamon in your hand for a memory cost of one, ignoring Digivolution requirements. It's a good card. But again, if you really want to know whether it's playability or, hey, this alternate art is beautiful, look at the price of the regular. And I don't know what the price of the regular is because the shop isn't actually listing it as a card they're particularly looking to buy. And that tells you everything you need to know. There is a little bit of a, hey, we love Sakuyamon tax coming in here. Now, I said there was another secret rare, and there is another secret rare. We've got Shoutmon King version. Now, this is not on the same level as Jesmon GX, and I'm not going to pretend it is. But that doesn't mean it's not a moderately expensive, relevant card. The secret rare here is coming in at 2,700 yen, 2,700 yen. So you're looking around about 20 US dollars, or you're talking somewhere in the region of about 16 quid. So it's still relevant. The regular art version is, again, a fair bit less. We're talking about 1,500 yen. So there's a pretty steep drop off here. And 1,500 yen, you're talking about $11 or around about 9 quid. So you're not talking about some kind of like proper top tier card here. The top tier are very much your system on seal, your Jesmon and your Sakuyamon. But the alternate art is still the fourth most expensive card in the set, not including Alphamon, that's not fair. So yeah, it's, it's still there. I mean, Shoutmon King version is all right. It's also treated as Shoutmon. When you play, you can return a card with Digicross requirements from your trash to your hand. But then when you Digicross this turn, you can use it as any Digicross card, which is cool. And it's got material save one. And it can Digicross two with any Digimon that's got Cross Heart in its traits. And on your turn, while you've got Shoutmon in your name as an inheritable skill, you gain 2,000 power. So it's still very relevant in terms of, you know, if you're playing Cross Heart decks, this is pretty cool. But I think it's fair to say we're not talking about, you know, some absolute monster of a card. It's fine. But I think fine is probably the way to describe it. It's not setting the world on fire. Now, speaking of cards, which are basically rising in value because they're popular and people want the particular alternate art. Venusmon. Now, I'm not saying Venusmon isn't a good card. Not by a long shot. I showed some rulings the other day. I think Venusmon is a very interesting card. But once again, the alternate art is very expensive. You're talking 2,200 yen. So to convert that to currencies we use is like $16 or around about 13 quid. But the shop is not even advertising to buy the regular version. So... Read into that what you will. Plus, I should mention, the ones I'm looking at here, they're generally looking at alternate arts of super rares. So, there's a little bit of rarity there. They're not the hardest things in the world to pull. But, there is at least a little bit of rarity here. They're, they're, it's it's going to take a little bit. They're not just running around everywhere. Now, Venusmon, when Digivolving, all of your opponent's Digimon gain security attack minus one until your opponent's turn ends. That is going to be brilliant for saving you time so you don't lose the game. And on your opponent's turn, your opponent's Digimon with any security attack skills, plus or minus, cannot attack this Digimon, and any when Digivolving and when attacking effects don't activate. I did a video about some rulings on that yesterday or the day before, so I would highly recommend you go and check that one out. I would say sooner rather than later. It's a cool card, but I think it's fair to say it's the artwork that's really getting people going. And then there are just three other cards which are worth mentioning on the end here. They're all extremely close. We've got Gankumon X Antibody, the alternate art thereof. Jesmon X Antibody, 
the alternate art thereof, and Omnimon X Antibody, the alternate art thereof. And they're not all exactly the same in terms of value, but they range from 1800 yen to 1600 yen, so I think it's fair to say they're all pretty gosh darn close to one another. I mean, 1800 yen, you're talking about, I mean, in terms of dollars, round about 13 and a half ish. And then in terms of pounds, you're talking about 11. So yeah, they're, they're worth a bit. And then, you know, I'm, I'm not converting to 100, 200 yen less. I think you get the point. They're worth pulling, they're decent cards. But, you know, the regular art versions of those are generally being bought for like 100 yen, which is not very much. It's less than a dollar, less than a pound. So they're fine, but they're not setting the world on fire. And anything I've not mentioned here is generally selling for like less than a thousand yen. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But there are a bunch of relevant cards in this set, a bunch of exciting cards, a bunch of valuable cards. And we told you about them. Obviously, when it comes to BT10, that the big one, the obvious one here, is your Alpha Mom. But that's not a realistic card to pull. If you do pull that card, have a gigantic celebration. You have just gone absolutely nuts. And you you can you can use whatever hyperbole you want to describe how good your box is. And I don't think anybody's gonna argue with it. Outside of that. There are some very valuable cards, some cards that are absolutely worth pulling, and you should be a little bit excited. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know how excited you are for this set. I want to know which are your chase cards. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.